top of Smep. Gets a little bit of damage now, but he's still relatively healthy on the Gragas. Mata gets popped as GA there Bank to back him up. Still dead for 25. Bang, throwing up the curtain call. Looking for some damage, but he takes a big burst from the Shock Blast. Bang has to dies. peel back and cancel the rest of it immediately. The Bang going to go ahead and peel back. Nexus, start, Nexus already taking a little bit of damage, and Huni will get his GA popped. SKT still desperately holding on. Blank is up in 10 seconds. Can they buy enough time? Wolf. Baker, what was that? Baker with a huge play, the QSS. I can't believe I just saw that. Modest walking up. They want to fight. Modest walked all the way from bot lane. Blank has it. They are still collapsing. Smep going to go forward. Gets a body slam in on the Blank. He's going low. Score comes up with the first blood. Now Huni in a bad spot. Flashes away. How that bad big is shock. I don't want this. He really forward. wants it. Lands the Q. The exhaust comes down a slow from the barrel, and that's going to be concussive blows. That's going to be two kills picked up. A double kill delayed goes over to score, and KT just explode onto the rip for game number three. And in season four, Mata redefined roaming with a new style of jungler, and it's been very well exploited by KT. Yeah. Well, we've only seen him twice. This year, so we haven't even gotten a bunch of a gauge on how much he's improved. Hunido in a bad spot gets knocked back by the explosive cask. He knows he's dead, just wants to get the minions here at the end. We'll be able to soak those up, but hands a third kill over to score. Nice to be the young is the surprise. You know, both teams have new parts to them. Huni, he's trying to get this. Uh, I don't know about that flash. Control ward, flash forward. They knock him back in towards score. Not dead yet. Should be able to close this up. That's going to be the Deathmark coming through from Baker, but he takes too much damage. Deathmark pop will still come up with a kill. Baker makes it out alive. But they lose two members for it. Missile Voyage comes through from Bang and Wolf. Mata. Arriving just on the back end of the fight. Mata does roam up by himself. That gives him alone time. Over to Deft, Smep goes forward, still has the ultimate. If he wants to try to pop Bang in, looks like he's going to think better of it. It's not the old ultimate anymore, though. The reliability is a lot harder. Oh, there Use we go, now, still though. finds it. Bang has the flash, holds on to it. Waits for the Devourer to come through from Wolf. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Huni going to TP in, looking for a kill onto Deft. But it gets matched immediately by Smeb. It's a game of chicken, and both of them go decide to back down. And the teleport game is not one that Smeb has been able to win this series. Either been outfoxed. Uh, sorry, who has been Hoonie, able to win? Yeah. He's either been outfoxed or matched, and in this case was matched. Boom. They get the two. Desperately, SKT want to break a top lane or a bot lane because then they can start the 1 3 1. I don't know about the flash here from Hooney. I, it, yeah. Very bizarrely played. Reminds me of trying to flash something like a Fizz Q and lose the damage, but didn't happen in that particular interaction. Damage did still register. Yeah, meanwhile, down bot. Depth going low, Baker gets locked up by the concussive blows. Mata has to flash away. He'll come down from Depth. Yep, score is here, and he's very strong. Blank gets locked up. Devour comes through from Wolf. Can they make it out alive? Slow comes through. They might just have to sacrifice the top catch. And it looks like that might just be the play here. Wolf doing his damnedest, but just nowhere to go. Score still fierce. Still a lot of bursts. Pushing into the face of Faker. He's got two levels on him, but he still just is not afraid. Curtain call turned down. On to Pawn. Gets locked up by the Deadly Flourish. Curtain calls here. Pawn jukes out one. Can he juke out more? Flame spinner's oh, coming baby. through. Fourth one's coming through. He might just connect. kill him. Can he get the kill? The Hooning? No, not going to happen. The overheat auto attack's doing too much. That will be Pawn going down. They had to invest. Time flash into ultimate. But now, of course, you have the fixed duration. You can ult flash, but very, very tricky. Certainly very easy to look silly on. And look, he doesn't get the kill, but they get the objective they were looking for. There's still pass marks there. Still feel happy about that one. Meanwhile, the bottom lane is going to be a bit of a party. This voyage coming through. Pawn getting exhausted. Already down. Low half HP. Smep just finished channeling this one. Going to slow up Blank. Wolf tanking up the turret. Glacial Fisher comes through Wolf's to lock done. him in. He will die. Smep trying to chase down onto Ash. the rain guard to get a little bit more. And now with Death coming on the sidelines. Flashes in for the volley to slow up onto Blank. Cast comes through. It's not enough damage to finish them off yet. Now it's going to be a turnaround. Hooney. This could be a big fight for SKT. Death getting hit in the backside by the curtain call. Fourth shot won't connect, but it doesn't matter because Faker comes up with a kill. Hooney barely limping out with his life. They find three kills in the bottom lane. And that is just going to be a massive pickup for SKT. And a really big decision-making misfire by KT Rolls to remember they were... Poke still a happy spot for... KT. Oh, score. The sidelines, Deathmark comes through. They pop up Faker. They will find the kill, but the Deathmark will finish off score in the end. A one for one. There's a lot of gold on the Faker. They don't have a lot of wave clear outside of him as well. That's going to be the equalizer thrown down in desperation. Mata gets rooted up, taking a couple of short shots, but overall looks like he may just be okay. Now the Gurt call comes through. Uh -oh. He's going to be the target as well as Depp. It's going to be Smev and Pawn trying to take this up. Pawn goes back in, really greedy, really aggressive. The bouncing grenade comes through, chunking them all it's down so, low. so very much. Bang, flash.
flashing forth, can't get the last shot. The Deadly Flourish won't connect. Meanwhile, on the backside of the fight, a double kill comes in for Hooney. Won't be able to make it a triple quite yet, as it looks like Smeb will make it out with his life, but Pawn, not as much can be said for him getting collapsed on by several members. Does he just go for the play? He's gonna try to teleport. Jump. Yeah, jumps back in onto the wave. That's the TP coming through from Smeb to zone them off. He'll cancel that to get the Turret. They're trying for it. Faker pops the Yomus on the side. Minions lines. are in a really good spot in top and bot lane. All gonna be pushing in. Elizer comes down. Mata getting chunked out. Faker goes in. Smeb's gonna body slam him. Trying to delay him a bit, but he goes into the backside with Mata, but he just gets absolutely destroyed. Qu score comes up with a kill, but now K SKT, they are firing back. Curtain call in onto the Graves. A couple more shots will take him out. They can't find it with a fourth and final. They might still be able to finish him off. He quick draws away from that deadly flourish. They got Faker, but they lose for SKT. Every time they push up for that tier two turret. Now though, fight breaking out in the mid lane. Dev getting jumped on, going down by the look of things. Deathmark comes through. Can they finish him off? He's exhausted and he will fall. That's gonna be Bank coming up with the kill. Back line. Double kill. And here comes Faker. Comes up with one, but he pays for that one with his life as Pawn will barely slink out of this one. But yet again, KT just losing these fights to SK Telecom Pawn. Finds an answering kill with a big shock blast on the wall. Calling an award, but it's a two for four Wait in for favor of SKT. Do they go for this? Yep. Oh. All right. Well, the deadly flourish not fast enough for Pawn. He was uh, not window shopping, as it turns out. Definitely can't go and queue that one, Pawn. He needs to run away this time. Yeah. That was a great play from Hooney. The teleport. Was but much less around battle. Oh, they're looking for something. Big equalizer. Equalizer comes down. Pawn already down to half HP. Abyssal Voyage coming in for the sidelines. With Blank in tow. Death gets locked up immediately. It looks like he's going to fall. Yes, he does. The bot lane of KT wiped off the map. Smeb not able to contribute an ultimate to that. And now with Death and Mata both gone. SK tells. Five members strong there. DPSing it down quickly, even without mountains or infernals. Baker on zoning duty as well. Yep. Shock Blast Whoa. Mr. Bang goes low. Baron only down 4, to half HP. Baker goes in, gets a lot of damage down on the pawn. Knocks him down to turn. half HP. Curtain call coming through. Bang still safe in the back line. Baron resets. They're just going to be looking for a pick here. Both KT make it out of range. Flash forward from Wolf with a tongue lash. Trying to come up with a kill. Smev goes in. Might just be the sacrificial Whoa. lamp. Pawn comes up with a kill. Die. On to Baker, but he will get taken out in the end as Wolf goes forward. Finds that killing blow. Smev does eventually go down as Hooney burns him out with a flame spitter score. Very close to giving Bang his first death of the game. But they got a two for one. They got a one for two and stopped the Baron. Th Close the game out for either team. We're at that point in the game. AT going to start it. Want to force the teleport from Hooney. Yeah, he Remember, it's in the double lane. infernal. Yeah, plus the Mountain Drake. Baron already down give it up. below half HP. They have to get in here. Blank maybe coming up the steal. He's not able to find it. Score gets it, but can they get kills on the back side of this? Deption coming down, keeping KT alive as best as they possibly can. But Faker already takes out Death. They already get rid of Mata, the first two to die. Yet again in this fight, Pawn goes down. Score trying to exit on the back side. Takes the Blast Cone for a ride. But he's still getting pinched on by Blank and Wolf. Looks like he will be able to make it out. Has that Baron empowered recall. They pick it up, but they lose three members. 40 seconds on Pawn, 25 on Depth. Very close to dead. Damage. Throughout the redemption, Ash Arrow comes through. Can they they get find a pick? Body slam forward. The cast comes through, but it just knocks him away. They can't get on the bang. He's going to open up the curtain call. Uh -oh. Big equalizer thrown down. Mana, he's going to be the first one to fall yet again. Heal coming out of depth, trying to keep them alive. Give them that little that burst didn't of speed. Recall. But that's going to be Faker just splitting in the bottom lane. And SKT, all they have to do is keep just chasing. delay the recalls. It's going to be a body slam back forward from Smep Pawn going low. Tries to get onto Blank, but just can't come up with the kill. Bang, finds that one. That's Finally true. suffers his first death, but now Score is starting to turn things around. Comes up with a double kill. Going to be looking for Hooney. Doesn't have the GA quite yet over here. Meanwhile. Can't do anything, but Faker is now splitting in onto the Nexus turret. Score comes he's done up it. with a triple kill at the end, but Faker is just chipping away at the base. Two are able to get out, so not quite. It's going to be the hold from KT. Oh, boy. This game is so close. Turn around from KT. They realized they couldn't recall. They were going to get chased down like we said. So a quick... They go ahead and swap with Double Infernal and the Mountain. The Elder Dragon would still be quite good for them. They're, They're all pumped. Coming out. Blank going to get slowed up. Curtain Call comes down. Let's chunk out Mata. The, the, the Curtain Call coming through. Now just chunking them down. Death trying to kite back. 
get a couple hits in on the blank who jumps forward. Big cast comes out. He still has the Guardian Angel keeping him alive. Baker goes in the back line, gets popped up immediately by the Glacial Fisher, Not but Wolf though. is there for the Devourer to keep him alive. Smep gets his GA popped. Hooney jumping straight in on top of Death, and that life steal is still barely alive. enough. It keeps him alive for a couple more seconds, but Baker goes in to finish him off. Comes up with the kill, and it looks like they're they're winning this quite handily. Although. Score, able to fire back, takes one out onto Bang. They lose Smep in the end. It's going to be two kills on the side of each team. On trying to interrupt, but won't be able to find Wolf. He just takes a dive, makes it out of there, but the Super Creep's now starting to chunk down onto these turrets, so score has to go ahead. Is on cooldown, but Huni does have the teleport. I think they're going to rush it again. Let's they see. have to. Yeah, Huni goes in for the recall. The Baron's going low. There's just no way for them to get in there, so Baron does go over to KT, but they need to minimize the losses. They need to make it out of here with their lives. Equalizer, Equalizer here. is back up for Huni. You want to toss it out? They're all in a choke point. There it is. Perfectly laid out on top of everybody, but Blank already falls. Death gets jumped on. Baker comes up with the kill. They follow over the wall, looking for Smab, looking for score. Should be able to take him out. There's no GA available for the Gragas. Fourth and final shot would kill. They don't find it. He's going to body slam back. And score manages to recall. So KT loses their bottom lane yet again, but they kill Blank and they get the Baron. It's only a two for one. How do they keep getting out on a sliver of health? I think SKT played that as well as they could. KT with incomplete information. That's what we have to talk about. Is it Can't do much to go into the fraud. Big equalizer thrown down yet again by Hooney. Chunky now. The members of KT roll, so redemption does come through. Healing them back up the full blank. Almost loses his Guardian Angel, and Hooney has to go into the zone. He's really low. He'll come up. Cass comes through. Faker has to jump back out. Still has GA up. Now score going low. Gets caught. That's going to be Bang coming up with a kill. Can he find more? Smev has his GA. Pawn goes in. Bang takes out the Jin. So far, a one for one exchange. But Blank is going to try to upset that. Re goes back in. Takes out Mata. But the answer with yet another kill as Smev gets rid of the Rengar. A two for two, Smeb barely limping out of there. And both sides of the crowd cheat. Up by Blank. This needs to be SKT's fight. Yeah, he's looking in from the sidelines. Equalizer comes down yet again. Death down to half HP. Baker goes into the back line, but he gets knocked up immediately. GA will get popped on him. See Death coming back up from his own Guardian Angel. Blank going in, just trying to take him out. And they're able to do so as Bang comes up with a killing blow. That's going to be a second one. SKT's done it. it. goes down the bottom lane of KT yet again falling. Smeb. We'll get his Guardian Angel popped. He's surrounded by SK Telecom members. He's going to fall. Looks like Pawn will as well score. The only one to make it out with his life. And SK Telecom still hold on, but they have to answer these super creeps. Bang, he's going hunting. Can he find it? Looks like the answer is no SKT score. want to enter the game, Achilles. They have super minions, or they have at least a minion wave pushing in the middle. But a lot of power is lost from KT. They oh, have four score. Guardian Angels this entering is the, the fight. Score. Can you come up with this one? Ash Air comes down. Blank gets locked up. Baron quite low. He used the collateral damage core to have to enter the pit. He's just not there in time. But he's buying time. Find something on they the want back. to fight. And he goes forward, trying to look for Huni. The TP coming through from Smav. They jump forward. Mata goes in with the Q. Pops up Blank with the Glacial Fissure. They come up with a kill. Huni, the Guardian Angel, just one hit from going down. But the Devourer is there from Wolf to keep him alive. Mata throwing out the redemption to try to finish him off, won't be able to find it. And Score made the percentage play, didn't look for the steal, just wanted to kill someone, because remember, it's a naked Nexus. They're going to try and finish the game five... ...but he's still relatively healthy on the ground, as Mata gets popped as GA there Thanks to back up. for 25. Be bang, throwing up the curtain call, looking for some damage, but he takes a big burst from the shot glass, has to peel back and cancel the rest of it immediately. The Bang going to go ahead and peel back Nexus. Sir. Nexus already taking a little bit of damage, and Huni will get his GA popped. KT still desperately holding on. Blank is up in 10 seconds. Can they buy enough time? Wolf has the devourer. Spits out. Bang's Hoody, that's going to be Bang going down. Finger going back in, trying to get on top of score. He pops the GA, but can he do enough? It looks like no. he will not be able to. Death firing away, but can't get it. Scores here. Can he finish it off? The answer is going to be no. That's an ace coming through from SK Telecom. It looks so good for KT, but they just cannot finish it off. And that could be SKT winning the game. What an insane hold from SKT specifically. Buying time for the respawn. Game has seesawed so many times, but they're gonna run it. Mod is dead, and I think SKT have won a Titanic series in just the most dramatic fashion possible. Super creep there to back them up, the tank up the turret shots. They take out both of them. The ne Nexus is exposed, Mata. If there was anything you could do, I'd be so damn impressed, but it's just hopeless now for KT Rolser. SK Telecom in such a back and forth third game, are able to come out on top. They win the first telecom war of spring 2017. The telecom